Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to another edition of the Senate Shorts. I am your host, Neil. He is your host, Derek. Hill. And together we are, here with a, we are here with another edition of the shortened version of this podcast. Now, you like any content, you dislike any content, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe if you dislike. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Most important, share so that if you are liking what we are putting out and you are a supporter, share the content so we can build the community. If you're a detractor, you think we're talking beer jump, or that we are menacing, marauding, misogynist with a message that you would like to get rid of, dislike, and share so you could get your wagon, your echo chambers, and come for us. Yeah, yeah my brother. Up Mr. Sawyer, upon that alliteration there again. Of yeah. course, of course, yeah. The greatest English teacher of all time. Uh, in more ways than one, but anyhow, uh, let's go, over, brother. Let's get it. Uh, where you go, yeah, man. This toss, all right. You have an article from a site called Relationship Rules, it seems, and it says, Husband acts if he's wrong for not wanting to adopt a child his wife conceived in an affair. Wait, 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 no, read that again. A husband acts if he's wrong. For not wanting to adopt a child his wife conceived in an affair. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be one of these shorts. It's going to be oh. one of these shorts. Eh? All right. Here we go. I used to have a wonderful relationship with the woman I love. He's 27, she's 26. Oh, however, five years ago, she got drunk, had a one night stand, and got pregnant from it. Can't be mine. I can't have kids due to a horseback riding injury when I was a teen. Didn't get the guy's name, no way to find him, so he's out of the picture. My wife decided to keep it, and we almost went through a divorce. But couples therapy made us decide to try again. We're still in therapy now, since they have a hard time trusting her. So, she had her son. We talked a lot about it, and it made it clear that I'm okay taking on a step-parent role, but I wasn't fully willing to fully be his dad. I would have adopted him, but it would help raise him and get him off to college. My wife agreed to this, became a stay-at-home mom so she could take care of him with help from her parents. And I've been I've been pretty much a fun uncle-like guy. I play with him, buy him games, try my best to not resent him, and I am in therapy for this. I mostly just stay out of the way of my wife's parenting. He even calls me uncle instead of dad. He knows I'm not his <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'm not his father. What was, was he? Um, what was he being? Dunkle. Dunkel? Dunkel, right? Dunkel. <laughs> That's exactly what I came away with when we did this. He knows I'm not his father and is just happy to play video games with me and chill. All right. But recently, my wife has started talking about me adopting him, something I'm not willing to do. I made it clear that if anything happened, he would go live with her parents and I'd send child support. If they couldn't take him, I wouldn't put him in foster care or anything. But I also wasn't willing to take on the responsibility of being his father when I'm not. I'm happy being an uncle to another man's kid since that's what life threw at me. Well, that's what you caught. Life threw it, but you didn't have to catch oh, this. But... I was just about to say yeah. This has greatly upset her and she's trying to find a way to force me into adopting him. She's even been manipulating the poor kid, saying he should start calling me dad instead of uncle like he oh, has no. his entire life, which is upsetting and confusing the poor boy. This situation has worked for the last five years, and I don't know why she's trying to change something that isn't broken or force me into a role I told her years ago I wasn't willing to accept, which right. she was fine with until just recently. Date after reading everything, I told my wife I was leaving and pursuing that divorce, I think I've been ready to do so for a while, but just yeah. needed the push. Right. This has led to a complete meltdown, but I stayed firm, packed up everything, and moved in with my brother across town. I have already contacted the landlord to tell him I would pay for two more months' rent. After that, everything needs to be switched to her. Talking to my lawyer, it was verified that due to the process I went through after the birth to establish I wasn't the father, I would not have to pay child support or alimony, which is something very rare and uncommon anywhere where I live. He's already working on the paperwork. No idea when it'll all happen, but once it does, I'll cut full contact. My wife has tried to call and text multiple times, but I've refused to talk. I'll post another update when I know more. 
And then, Neil, we had some responses, some comments. Oh, no. Somebody says, Esh, everything about this is pretty terrible. Her cheating, you purposefully distancing yourself from the child who is not yours through no fault of his own. Not to mention you being the only father figure he's ever known. Dads don't need to be blood. You all sound like assholes, except the little one, obviously, who I just feel sorry for. Sort your shit out for his sake. Somebody else says you may want to check with an attorney, regardless of whether or not he is your biological child. You have been raising and supporting him, even if you don't adopt him. He's likely yours in the eyes of the court. That said, NTA, you had an agreement. You supported her decision to keep the baby. You were through her infidelity. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. Somebody else says this is a mess. You should not adopt the child you don't want. You should have a parent or parents who are enthusiastic, but you also are putting them in a bad position by planning to be present while demonstrating what I can only call a wedge between you and your wife where the child witnesses it. But this is her fault as well. She entered an agreement that she might have assumed would be temporary, but she shouldn't have. No child should be foisted upon someone reluctant to commit to parenting them. Your thoughts, my brother. I'm glad that it did not turn out how I was going to, what I thought it was going to be, because I thought I was going to run. But it, it, it has paused me to think. Now, let's start from the beginning. One, lady cheated. She got drunk, had a one night stand, got pregnant, and said, keep the child. All right, fine. To the gentleman, you stuck with the woman while she had the child. You were there, you supported her as she raised the child, meaning that you probably bought food for the child, probably raised the child. Well, you may not be instilling values into this child like if you were your own. The point is you were there and hard or soft, you are raising the child. Now, I understand you're doing therapy. It's an infidelity. It is emotional damage. It hurts, right? But by and large, you are taking care of the child and your wife. I understand why you don't want to adopt the child, but based on what you have said that you have been doing for the last five years means that you had unresolved issues with the whole thing right uh if you had really come to terms and come to peace with the whole thing then adopting would not have been a problem but you mm -hmm. clearly have a problem with this i will commend you because you gave it a whole college try you did the therapy it was there for five years you tried your best but in the end just like caswell is saying Mm -mm. it's not gonna work with me this is a bad situation i do agree with that one poster that said the child is going to be the one that suffers this is a bad situation for everybody involved and i am i am i wish this was the only example of this happening but this happens quite a lot <laughs> where um women get pregnant for other men and it, you know by and large the husband has to deal with these things. I'm sure the same could be said when a man has an extramarital affair, has a child, etc., etc. The point is, is when a child is born outside from an affair, it is hard to swallow and to deal with. I was gonna say earlier that the man should have just saying, "Oh, what this ain't working me from." When she said she was pregnant, but mm -hmm. the man decided to give it a college try. Me personally, I don't know if I could have stick around. Maybe I'm not a real man because I know a lot of people say he's a real man <laughs> for giving it a try. That's fine. That's all right. Sticks and stones, but. I would say that if you are in a marriage and your partner has cheated on you, shoot, if the wife cheats on you and she decides to have, I think, I think this is worse because of the woman having full autonomy of her body. She's decided to keep the child um, and then expects the man to essentially raise the child. Now, the man did, well, not comply, he, he decided to raise the child and he realized after five years this thing i i, I don't know man it's, it's rough i think that uh women you need to make better decisions i think that i understand you want to live that summer body hot life you want to be a 304 and live life um but the social contract in marriage means that you can't go get, get drunk and have sex with other men just like you don't want your man to get drunk and have sex with other so um shoot i know corners break but let's be honest was a condom involved who knows nope uh, <laughs> right. So from my, from my perspective, I think that, um, if I were the man, I would have said, nah, this ain't for me. You gotta make a big decision up front. You gotta decide if you really love this woman. I give this a try all in. 
if you really are committed to the marriage you all in um you should not have said you all in but then keep the child at a distance you should have made that business decision and say you know what this ain't worth me you need to figure out your own i can't do this it's her i don't trust you because after five years you still don't trust the woman so i don't think you needed to go to the internet for this i think you knew very well that he was on the outside he was going to divorce yep um so yeah as we didn't was, adopt the child yeah yeah so so women make bad decisions men um when a child is involved especially a child that is not yours from an infidelity you got to either take up the responsibility or not take up the responsibility you can you can't stick around in the child's life and not take up that responsibility i'm not saying you have to take up the responsibility because really and truly it's not your responsibility but if you decide to stick it st stay there and be there for the woman meaning that you'll be there for the child you gotta bear the responsibility of fatherhood but here's the thing though right by the time she brought the marriage contract because it can take a horn right isn't that time you gotta take a horn and a child and you got and a, even the child especially when that child in the house too you know what i mean and you gotta interact with that child every day that's why that man didn't adopt that child because he knew look you gotta see his little man every day this is a consistent reminder a daily reminder of the infidelity yeah but the infidelity the irresponsibility you know what i mean because you said you, you really you feel the condom is involved more likely not right so now you gotta deal with that you gotta look at this little man every day and somebody said it in the comment section too she thought that she could get that man to change the arrangement right so the man accepted all right is my wife we gonna work it out and you figure all right since we go in from there now i could get from there and i could push him towards adopting the child the man wasn't about it so from the beginning he should have said you know what this ain't gonna work with me you and he gonna go and work it out go elsewhere yeah, yeah. right but I do I don't like the fact that people are saying that no or um try to leverage each other against the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we had a situation we we did with a short, I think it was Neil, with a, a fella that he met his tender date, got she went into labor on the tender date or some dog like that. People oh, yeah, hail yeah, this yeah. man as a hero. Max. Oh. Yeah, Max. People hail Max as a hero because Max Max he was there for her um, when she had man. He's a labor on the tender date. If you know you're about something, man, this is where men gonna be there, right? If you know you're about something, say you're about it and bounce one thing and move. Yeah, don't stick up there trying to see if you could pretend to be an uncle for five years. Nah, because now people can leverage the fact that you've invested time and money with this child. Mm -hmm. you formed a bond i try to mm -hmm. keep you in that situation that you really don't want me in mm -hmm. what you're doing now at the end is what you should do at the beginning that's she all right but this is what you're doing you could have harmed me it could have take the horn can i take a baby too possible exposure to lord knows what so yeah deuces and the next thing he can have no children either so consider this yep you ain't nothing to do with the man, with the, the 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 fact that this man can't have the children. You want children, so that's where you can keep yours. All right, yeah, cool. you saw an opportunity. So yeah, you didn't. You, you, this this man had no. Yeah, she saw an opportunity to have a child. Okay, cool. But you gave your husband no opportunity to say, "Well, they want to be part of this." Oh, but let's adopt a child. Oh, but we pursue a surrogate father or something. You gave him Good. no options. He got a surrogate father. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. <laughs> right? You gave him no options. You bring the situation, tell him, well, huh, this is it here, take it. And because he was trapped by the mar marriage contract, he had to go along with it. Right? All right? So he felt, what we doing now at the end is we should do at the beginning. Mm. Ain't gonna work with me. I out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I completely agree. A I woman and a worse than a child by you. Yeah, a woman and a child is a package deal, right? If a woman is pregnant, that woman and that child are inseparable, right? If that woman has chosen to keep that child and to bear that child, that two of them is a package deal. So that is your bad that you thought that you could jerry rig that into some eyes of cool uncle mm -hmm. and I really dealing with that day situation. You were fooling yourself. You were not honest with yourself, right? Definitely. Um, if you had stopped and you say, you know what? 
this man this this woman and this child is a package deal i in for penny in for pound and you go forward with all 10 toes that's different conversation we having but don't come and say that you being the cool uncle and then now five years later you talking about how one i i decided i can get of course you ask five years you create a bond with the child you mess with the child even more matter of fact i know the yeah. child can be like this is my daddy shoot especially if the woman knows forcing him out to call you daddy so yeah man man if uh, if 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 you are in a situation like this yeah make a business decision and stick with that business decision don't don't try to dip see through the lip and, and and before we, we push off right my body my choice also means my responsibilities yeah so everybody looking at my mic if he's a villain for laughing right but the reality is she made the decision and we talk about this in another short that we did earlier tonight right blame it for the alcohol blame it for the music blame it from blame god, it from god. <laughs> blame it for everything you made this decision it was a poor one now you gotta deal with the consequences and you want my man to help you out with the consequences and he's been gracious enough to help you with the consequences but that ain't enough for you you want him to get you further and own the consequences like if it's he mistakes that is unfair yeah yeah but anyhow that's how that's life for the patriarchy well, this has been another Senate short. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I hope this check is trying to hit up my mind for to be a new father. Un unwantingly so. And um, yeah, we can see you guys again soon. The contaminated environment. And the tutu's about that.